Steve, you and I are checking out a unique Marvel card-based game. It is none other than Marvel's Midnight Suns. And I was excited for this one. Dude, we're big Marvel fans here. We have high expectations when it comes to this game and many games in that realm when it is attached to the Marvel IP. It comes with a high pedigree. And uh, you stick around in today's show because we'll be talking a little bit more about that, Corey, myself. But it's interesting to take a look at this game, Steve. What did you think? Is this is a lot different than what we played in the past? Oh, yes. But it's that same thing again. I kind of had good expectations. Yeah. But as we just mentioned before, we just find a lot of games now with they've got the Marvel name tag. It's not living up to the hype and the expectations and it's not delivering as well. I mean, this is very heavily story based. And so just be prepared that I found after the first few hours, because that's always the first impressions, yeah. I got bored oh, just man. because of the talking. Go to this person, talk to that person. Graphically, <laughs> it, it kind of reminds me of like an early GTA, some of the graphics. It was not polished at all. How do you find it yourself? Steve, this game is, it's funny. I've seen a mixed reviews all over the place. And for us here personally, like this, this is a low review for me. And I'm really disappointed. I truly am disappointed. This should have been a fantastic game. Three, four hours in to the game, early stages of the game, bored stiff. Like, this is boring dialogue, boring gameplay. They're trying to introduce you to so much, which is fine. But if it's implemented properly, it carries you and pushes you and wants you to stick around. Dude, I'm falling asleep playing the game, right? It's one of those things. I'm like, the more I play, the more I'm just getting tired. And it just, it doesn't carry you through. The hunter, you play as a hunter. A monotone character does not excite anybody when you want to play in these games, right? So you have one character that just talks, but it's just one tone the entire time and it's boring to listen to. No personality in the main character. How do you push that game forward then when there's no... Hi, welcome to our review. Like, man, nobody wants to stick around and listen to that. That's boring. And so is the game when it comes to that. Gameplay wise, I'm like, cool. I am a fan of XCOM. This should work. Now we have cards, right? Like there's a little different aspect to how these function. Some of you get power points that you are able to spend and these ability points to then take out the enemy AI, which is cool. Introduction to the enemies are cool. You start your mission, you roll out. Dude, yeah. you roll out as your superheroes and it's this big cinematic experience that you're supposed to get. My hunter Glitchy. was all oh, glitchy is an understatement. My hunter wasn't even on the ground. She's floating across the sky. And I'm like, what is like the polish is missing. The graphics you're talking about the graphics, Steve, the graphics are bad. Like these are just bad yeah. graphics. And I'm like, this is a Marvel IP. I want yeah. high fidelity. I want to see pores on skin here. This is next level stuff we're supposed to be experiencing. And this is not next level graphics. You get a cutscene talking to Blade. Blade's standing here like this. Dude hit arm goes out to a point and then comes in. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, not cool at all. You talk to the Oracle. She is like a flat, monotone, plastic-looking character. There's yep. just so many missed opportunities. The Abbey is your home base, Steve. Your home base of operations. And I, I honestly feel it was pointless. I really feel like there's no need for it. If they would have gave us a story just the story i would have had a better time than doing all these what i call what i'm calling filler experiences having yeah. to do that at the abbey because then you go watch a movie with one of the other characters one of the other midnight suns and you're like why am i doing this there is yeah. a reason why but it's just steve is so much filler in this game i really if we just would have been playing the story i would have had a better time but I, I would say I did like the, the combat element of the cards because this is kind of new to me. Sure. And I did find, like, it took me a little while to master it. And I'm probably about 11 hours in now. And I'm starting to get the grasp of it. But it's still... Where did that 11 hours go? Because there's so much story. And then you've got the friendship part because you have to interact mm. with every character. And you can spend an hour just going from one side of the map to the other just to talk to someone on your opinion on something yeah there's a lot of unnecessary filler right i think it's kind of I, I relate this to marvel's avengers if they would have given us a yeah. story in marvel's avengers we would have had a great time moved on right 
and that's kind of here too what happened with marvel's avengers is it fell off because there's no end game content now they've launched dlc but that's a whole other story but you get into marvel's midnight suns and you have this element and you have that element and you have this element i think they just mixed too many elements together steve and it's complicated yeah. the game to a point where it just gets really really dragged out and boring and that's yes. right then you run into tony and tony's supposed to be we all know tony stark right he's this witty comical character he's got a sarcastic sense of humor dude he's just annoying here right like he's just yeah the writing for tony isn't good but like the writing for a lot of these characters isn't good i find them really really dull and really really boring they keep coming back to that because when you get three hours in you should be hooked not falling yeah. asleep and that's a big problem Steve, uh, mixed reactions here, man. This one didn't really pan out for us for Marvel's Midnight Suns. What are you scoring this? Well, as we just mentioned, I wasn't impressed by the graphics. I've got the hang of the gameplay. Sure. The story is very long-winded. There's a lot of story to it. It's like sitting there watching a four-hour Marvel film. Um, and it took me a long time for me to actually get into it and start enjoying it. And it should hook, the game should hook you in the first hour at least yeah so for that i'm giving midnight sun a seven out of ten how about you i'm much lower than you dude i i came in with high expectations and i left with very low receptions and for me i'm there with a four just because of the graphics the story the abbey isn't necessary there's a lot of filler in this game that shouldn't be there in a, to start with and it's just really unfortunate because you hold marvel to a high expectation and as, as well as the studio so to get out of here and, and end with a four and that's just a disappointing way to the end of the year yeah. Something real special.